hello and i welcome you to my video classes on water governance and water policy so in the video we are mainly discussing about national water policy and myself vishwanath avati so in this video we are mainly discussing about introduction part national water policy 2012 salient features of national water policy 2012 then sum up the crit critics and argument made for 2012 national water policy so now we'll go through some introduction part as we know what is a main like no fundamental requirement to human life as well as economic activities as well as ecosystem but in india if you take 18% of world population is exist and if you take the resources so we have only 4% of renewable water resource and if you take the land resource only 2.4 less resource more population means there is a problem and it is required more careful management of water resource and even uh, like you no know, some even though it is available 4% but we have some further limitations limitations means in terms of non even distribution of water over a time and space in space also if you take the spatial distribution as well as temporal distribution of water is not same throughout the india so it has a difference and in some part of the state or country we have a drought and in other places we have a flood also it is what complex situation and to manage this kind of resources it required a, a, a like no some very good flexible enforceable rules and regulations it should be in a national level so that's what there is a requirement of national water policy so here if you take the and if you if you consider the objective of national water policy is the consideration of existing situations to propose the frame for creation of uh, creation of a system of law and institutions for for a plan of action with a unified national perspective so here the main focus and objective of national water policy is we have to understand the existing situations and we have to make the framework it may be a framework of legislative framework as well as institutional framework means here rules or regulations are required as well as some institutes are required to enforce that and to make it correct a plan action will be unified see unified means throughout india throughout the country throughout the national level uniform rules and regulations will be there so national water policy is formulated by ministry of water resource in india if you take the national water policy it is formulated by ministry of water resource of government of india the first national water policy was adopted in 198 1987 september 1987 and it is recently viewed or updated in 2002 as well as in 2012 last and recently it is very recent means it is 2012 so now we'll go through national water policy 2012 it is a recent and updated national water policy so now so national water policy of the government of india was first enacted in 1987 this policy was reviewed in 2002 right so earlier before the national water national water policy it was it is mainly uh, made in 1987 and revised in 2002 and now it is 2012 so after that a need of need was felt for further revision in a policy so even though it is updated in 2002 but again it needed the revision or uh, like no some updations in the policy so result in that formulation of national water policy of 2012 so that you can understand here from why it is made amid is updated why because it was required because it has to change time to time because technology is changing method of use uh, users pattern is changing availability is changing climatic condition is changing that's what we have to update time to time and the main motto is proper management of water resource and it will be taken considerations of all the fundamental needs the reason for revision uh, revi revision of policy is changing needs changing in the perspective of water resource planning changing in the water allocation priorities so here it is uh, why uh, like no uh, revisions are made or updated are made because the taking considerations of changing in the perspective of water resource planning so we are making the planning right even if you take when britishers were there from that also we are making the planning but now changing 
perspective of water resource planning so planning method is changing changing in the water allocation earlier it was given only for agriculture drinking and some part of industry but here now we are using for commercial purpose as well as drinking water and even irrigation and even navigation multiple uses right so that's what we have to make changing conditions with the priorities in 2012 ministry of water resource has formulated the draft national water policy in a consultation with national water board and national water resource council so in india we have Uh, uh mainly some uh, national water like no national level of officers one is national water board as and even we have national water resource council so with consultancy with national water board as well as national water resource council right ministry of water resource has drafted national water policy 2012 and later it is announced that it is ad adopted in india so the uh, 2012 water policy introduced the pricing mechanism first time right if you see the pricing mechanism so it is a uh, it is very important because based on this only we have a critics and some arguments so main introduces pricing of uh, water earlier it was like no service and it is a free of cost so now it is water is not a free of cost and even they are taking considerations of dublin principle so in the dublin principle they said water is not a free it has a economic good it has some value so consideration of that even it made pricing of mechanism for overuse and mainly it is overuse not Uh, like no uh, normal use if you are using over then you have to pay some money or just like a tariff of water the policy was adopted with disapproval of many states so even it has a critics why because it is not dis it like no it approved from many states has op opposed and even though it has a many uh, states are opposed but it is approved so here some of the salient features so if you see the features of a national water policy 2012 one is national water framework as i told it mainly given a more importance of national uh, like no national level frameworks right so emphasis on the need of our national water framework see it is national level of framework of law comprehensive legislation for optimum development of intra state river and river valley and uh, irrigation and amendment of irrigation act as well as indian easement act 1882 so mainly it is here the national water policy 2012 is focused on making national level uniform law right mainly it is what for making uh, intra state river problems to solve the intra state river problems and river valley problems and even it made the some old uh, rules and regulations with the amendment next is economic good as i told water is not a free it has to be make some charges but not for all so here economic charges has to be made for over users if you are using for basic needs then no problem right water after meeting the pre mqq needs so initial how much is required for all so it has to be supplied for safe drinking water sanitation achieving food security supporting poor people depending on agriculture for their livelihood higher priority allocation for minimum ecosystem needs be treated as a economic good so as to promote the its conservation and efficient use so how much is water is required for sanitation right drinking water agriculture and food security but after that if we are using overuse right so then it has to be considered as a economic good not a free material next is ecological needs so you want here also how water is required for ecological needs for example we have our surrounding natures so for surrounding natures water is required right so here also considerations of economic need is made more importance ecological needs of the river should be determined recognizing that river flow are characterized so even river flow has minimum flow in the river has to be maintained and studied the portion of river flow should be kept aside to meet the ecological needs to ensure that proportional law and high flow released corresponding in time closely to national natural flow next is climate change so we have a climate change right and you can see in a paris agreement we have climate change so here also considerations of climate change has been made 
water regulation authority so to we have many rules and regulations and here also to manage the rules and regulations then separate water body is required so that's what water regulatory authority be uh, starting of what setting up water regulatory authority has been recommended and even incentivization of recycle and reuse has been recommended very important so here it is incentivization incentivization means we have studied what you mean by incentives right so here if you are making recycling and reuse of water then it will be encouraged from the private organizations and through water regulatory authority very important because even critics we got to incentivization of private organizations for reuse and recycle next is water user associations so here it is main importance is uh, like no from centralized management to decentralized management why because nowadays command and control like no method is not working so that's what from top to bottom approach to bottom to up approach is like no top, uh, up bottom to up approach is good because we are getting the good cooperation from all the stakeholders so that's what local water user association will be made based on the locality right based on the locality and based on the local requirement based on the uh, like no uh, volumetric quantity of water but here even it is uh, like no uh, made and main water resource organization associations will be created so next is community participation so even more like no importance and more encouragement will be made through this community participation of the all stakeholders all stakeholders means what even from state government local government bodies right so decide and even it is increased the private public private sector can be increased to become a service providers in public private partnership so here community participation is increased in local level like a village panchayat as well as a state level and in national level but main encouragement is made for public private partnerships pp model and here uh, service will be taken for government and even providers like a private organizations but they will collect some money next is adequate grant so even here proper uh, grant or budgeting has to be made and here recommended that proper grant has to be made for water resource development next is very important levy tariff as i till know it is mainly related to uh, consideration or uh, considerations of water as a economic good not a free so that's what he introduced a potential uh, proposal to levy tariff for all water users so here it is for all water users uh, initial tax has to be made right including irrigation if it is exceeded predetermined quota on volumetric basis so here it is many levy is taken only if it is overuse means we know how much water is required but he is using more than that then levy or tariff will be collected from all kind of users integrated perspective and here and here also he taken the integrated perspective of all the water resource and water resource dependent ecosystems next criticisms or argument made for national water policy of 2012 so first criticism is not ensure the equality why because when they are making the pricing of water then rich people will buy the water what about the poor they may got less water that's what it makes the non insurity of equity among the different users policy does not follow pollutant polluter to pay principle rather than it gives the incentives for effluent treatment so we know private organizations when they are making the pollution to the rivers so he, here government has to make some taxes for environment taxes to polluters but here what go, in the policy they said if you are making the reuse and treatment then government will increase you and they will give some incentives so that's what here that is argument is made that government has to take the environmental tax instead of taking environment tax they are giving the incentives right so that is what what critics next is policy was criticized for terming water as a economic good mainly it is what in india it treated as a free and uh, the mindset of the people is not changing why because from long year they uh, they thought that water is free and they have a right to use unlimited 
in some region it has not yet become a successful uh, because of disapproval of many states it is not uh, successful in many many of the places the policy does not lay out the objective for commercial use of water especially for groundwater if you see the commercial use of water there is no proper like no objectives for commercial use of water especially groundwater so thank you so much for watching my video